Woo, I just got paid. Wait a minute, why is my paycheck short? If I'm doing the math correctly, if I make $25 an hour and I've worked 27 hours, hmm, my paycheck should have been $675. So why was only $523 deposited into my bank account? Hi, my name is Sharika Straker, and today I want to teach you about paychecks, taxes, and insurance. So let's talk about why your paycheck was $523 instead of $675. There are several taxes and deductions that must come out of your paycheck before you get paid. Let's break down your paycheck and talk about different terms that you're going to see and you're going to want to understand. First, we're going to talk about gross pay. Gross pay is going to be your hourly rate times the amount of hours that you actually worked. This is going to be the amount before any deductions are taken out. Next, we're going to talk about the net pay. The net pay is the amount that's left after all of the deductions are taken out. Deductions. Every paycheck that you get is going to have some deductions taken out. What are some of these deductions? Let's talk about them. The first deduction we're talking about is going to be Medicare. Medicare funds the health system in the United States, and it also helps senior citizens and people with disabilities. Next deduction you're gonna see is Social Security. Social Security benefits retirees, people with disabilities, and their families. Next, we're gonna talk about federal income tax. Federal income tax is the income for the United States government that we all must pay. Federal income tax funds the development of the economy, education over the United States, and provides disaster relief for things like hurricanes or earthquakes. When you start a job, your job will provide you with a form which is called a W-4. How you complete this form will determine how much taxes are taken out of your check. This form is required by the Internal Revenue Service. Completing this form correctly will prevent you from having any issues during tax time. Next, we're gonna talk about state income tax. Just as the federal income tax is the income for the US government, state income tax is the income for your specific state government. State income tax helps fund public schools. It helps repair roads. It helps fix bridges. It also helps low-income families in your area. These four items, Medicare, Social Security, federal income tax, and state income tax are mandatory in most states. They are are penalties if you do not pay them. Now let's talk about some additional items that you may see taken out of your paycheck. Health insurance premiums. This is the amount that you need to contribute to cover your health insurance. Some employers may help you pay this premium. Retirement savings. Retirement is when you get to a point where you leave your job and stop work. This usually happens after several years in your career. Now, if you stop working, you're still gonna have bills to pay. So this is where saving for your retirement comes into play. Some of these deductions are not just for right now. Some of these are gonna help you in the long run when, for when you get older. Sometimes your location matters when it comes to these deductions. Depending on where you live will determine on what deductions will be taken out. Some states don't have you pay state income tax. So definitely check in your local area to see what taxes will be coming out of your paycheck. Also, the type of job matters. Some jobs don't automatically take out taxes or insurance or any other premiums. But beware, if you make a certain amount per year, you will want to make sure you set aside by yourself money to pay these taxes on your own. Make sure you check with a tax professional. You never want to owe the Internal Revenue Service money. So I'm sure many of you have heard of tax time. April 15th, AKA this is tax day. Every year on this day, federal and state taxes are due. Forms are prepared and submitted to ensure that you are paying the right amount of tax for that season or for the previous year. Paying taxes, consider, paying taxes is considered your civic duty. It is also a requirement by law. If you don't pay your taxes, the Internal Revenue Service can charge you additional fines or even you can face jail time. Remember, you do not want to owe the Internal Revenue Service money. At the beginning of every year, you will see a summary from your employer of all of the income that you had from your previous year. 
This form is called a W-2. This form also shows you the amount of taxes, federal and state, and any other premiums that were taken out of your paycheck. This form, this W-2 form, is what you're going to use to complete your taxes for the year. You can use services like H&R Block, TurboTax, Jackson Hewitt to complete your taxes. You can also find local agencies that provide free assistance to help you complete your taxes as well as file your forms. One out of two things will happen every time you file your taxes. One, if you do not have enough money taken out during the year out of your paychecks, you will end up owing the Internal Revenue Service money and you will have to send them additional money to complete your financial obligation. Or two, if you paid too much taxes through your paychecks each year, you will receive a refund check after you have completed and filed your forms. When it comes to your taxes, you should keep all of your documentation for at least a minimum of three years up to seven years just in case the Internal Revenue Service has any questions or wants to look over any documentation from the past. Now, I hope this information that I have provided will help you not only understand your paycheck, but understand what to expect during tax time.